That's a jaguar. It's a male. I'll just try to get the video. There he is. This is bigger than the skull I have. It might also be because it's a zoo animal. You can tell because, you see this? You see this bone? This is the zygomatic arch. Um, this is the orbital, this is the squamosal. There's two bones, so one, two, make up the zygomatic arch here. It's, uh, it's the, um, and this is the attachment for the master muscle. So a very important bone that, ex that, that, that um, experiences a lot of stress and a lot of power because it's all this, this jaw, this muscle here. So it kind of radiates, the contraction goes, I think it goes from the um, angular process here, it radiates out this way. So crushing, chewing, and in wild animals, this bone is thin, contrary to what you'd think. You'd think you'd, a wild animal would have a very thick bone to support a lot of stress, but no, it's a thin, dense bone. Here it's thick. It's a very thick bone. I'll show you on my specimen that I have, the cast. It's, I'm pretty sure it's a wild animal. It's also very much wider. You can see dental issues here. There's a giant porosity here, big porosity here. This tooth was broken. It's missing a bunch of the premolar, uh, the, the incisors. But again, note how thick those canines are. They're thick, thick canines. Note also the, the size of the uh, foramen magnum. It's pretty small. So the neck was obviously not very much in use. Um, and I'm not sure if whether it is actually much used in the predatory um, in the predatory behavior. It was much more of a bite crush cat. Like I said before, it, it, it's like skull crusher cat. Very cool, very cool. Also there's a few pathologies, traumas, or calcinations on the bone. I mean, this, this, this joint, this elbow joint is very um, problematic, it was probably very painful for the animal. Uh, same thing with this portion of the spine. You can see it's, it's very crusty, gross. I mean, if you look at this area here, it's really nice and sharp, but then there's this growth here associated with the upper, basically in your mid thoracic vertebrae. So if you think about it, like it's pain in the middle chest area. Um, yeah, that's where it is right now. That's what it is. It's all splayed out. It's pretty complete. I think there's one toe bone, toe uh, metacarpal missing, metatarsal missing. So that's the Jaguar. I think that's probably the skeleton that I'm going to be focusing on. Although I am going to spread out the Sumatran, uh, the, the Javan tiger. Yeah, so that's, that's my first contact with this animal. I haven't decided the position yet. I haven't decided what it's going to look like. I'm just glad I got to touch his bones. Very cool. That's my previous project. That's the chimpanzee. That's Megatherion. That's the next cat that I'm gonna make. That's the next cat that I'm gonna be making. Saber tooth, and that's the Suma uh, Javan tiger. Pantera tigris sondaica.